You know, this pandemic has made it clearer than ever that our economy is working great for those at the very top, but not for our workers. Saturday actually marks the 12th anniversary of the last time that we raised our federal minimum wage. 12 years. That's unacceptable, and our workers really deserve better. No one working 40 hours a week should be making wages so low their families living in poverty and they can't even afford to pay for even their most basic needs. It's past time that we finally give workers who are the backbone of our economy and have kept us going through this pandemic a hard-earned and much-deserved raise. And another important step the Senate can take to build back an economy that's stronger and fairer and works for everyone is to ensure that agencies like the National Labor Relations Board work effectively and protect workers' rights. Jennifer Abruzzo is the type of dedicated public servant who will make sure the NLRB is enforcing the law and protecting the rights of workers. And I urge all of our colleagues to join me in voting to confirm her as general counsel of the NLRB. She has dedicated her career to upholding the law and protecting workers from unfair treatment. She's won victories against companies that attempted to undermine workers' right to organize and call for better wages. And she has 23 years of experience at the NLRB including her time serving as acting general counsel, the role she is now nominated to fill. It's clear she has the right experience, qualifications, and values for the job, and we need her to be able to get to work right away because we have seen seven years of, un, or we have seen years of unprecedented Republican obstruction, obstruction of the NLRB nominees. There's been an empty Democratic seat on the NLRB for nearly three years, and there wasn't a single Democrat on the board from late 2019 until mid-2020. That obstruction tipped the scales of justice in favor of big corporations, and workers have suffered the consequences. When workers stand together to form a union, it is the NLRB that makes sure the election is fair. If a worker is fired or unfairly punished because they want to join or form a union, the NLRB is tasked with protecting their rights. And if com companies refuse to negotiate fairly with unions, fighting for higher wages and better benefits or a secure retirement or safer working conditions, it is the NLRB that protects unions and union workers who have helped build our country's middle class. Working families simply cannot afford an NLRB that fails to protect workers' rights when they are threatened. So we've got to confirm nominees like Jennifer Abruzzo who will protect workers' rights and make sure their voices are heard. If we're serious about building back a stronger, fairer economy, if we're serious about standing with working families, then we need to confirm Jennifer Abruzzo as Jennifer, general counsel of the NLRB and then get to work increasing our federal minimum wage. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.